What day are we on, Nick? Uh, what is this? This is day six, day seven. And we finally have snow. We, have, we finally have snowflakes on the snowflakes and cupcakes tour. Mary is learning how to clean the car off and also with her newfound skills of pumping gas. At this rate, she might even, you know, be driving her own self on her next tour. But comes the big step of getting a license and learning how to drive the car. Baby the, steps. The snowflakes and no road companions tour, 2010. Baby steps. Only the lonely tour, 2010. Mary Stewart. Welcome to vlog update number seven. Um, we are actually back in Montreal. We got a time machine and here we are. Uh, we actually fell behind on vlogs. Um, we went through a trial divorce period uh, while we were in Toronto and kind of, I don't know, didn't see each other. Um, the guys were tired of carrying around my shoes, so they, uh, they left me in Toronto with the subway and, and, the, and the buses and the streetcars and, uh, and the cold. Uh, so after we left Montreal, we headed to Ottawa, played at Umi Cafe, we played with the lovely Elizabeth Bruce, and uh, the venue was great, it was packed, everyone was super quiet, um, that was awesome, and they had really delicious vegan uh, peanut butter and chocolate rice krispies, which were sweet, and really good coffee. Um, it was also really awesome to see a lot of old friends. We left Ottawa after going to Wild Oat Cafe, um, which my dear friend Kyle works at, and he and the lovely Olivia put us up in their beautiful house and hall. Um, uh, Wednesday night we played at the boat, which was a really great venue. Thank you Keith Hamilton for setting that up for us, and thank you to Lazy Bones and again the DVDs for playing that. Thanks everybody for out. It's a really cool room, uh, minus the, uh, the porcelain dolls that are up above the coat check. Um, great room, good staff. I really liked that thing. Um, Thursday, we were at Say What? Say What? <laughs> Which is on Church and Front Street, and that venue, uh, their room was awesome. They listened, they were very attentive, the staff were great. They had great microbrews on tap and I uh, had a really great time playing half of the Danger Bees opened the show and David Borens from Toronto closed it out with his fantastic band they were lovely people and very talented musicians thank you to Sarah English uh, and the Danger Bees for showing me the lovely Nova Scotia hospitality and thank you to the people who adopted Ryan and Nick, took care of their piercings and tattoos for them, and showed them a good time. Uh, and then we went off to London, 75 minutes out of Toronto in traffic. More on that later. <laughs> She's a slave driver. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>